And how's it going guys? Josh here aka Lufemi, filming without my glasses because there's a little bit too much glare. I've been in Australia for about a year now and I'm going back to LA in March. And I recently got to experience the true Australian outback when I got to go drive out to Mount Isa in the middle of Queensland. At some point during my crazy drive into the wilderness, director Hannah Lex Davis dropped her latest music video for Ariana Grande called Seven Rings. It's crazy because Hannah's been killing it in the music video game for quite a while. She currently directs under London Alley Entertainment out of Los Angeles and she currently has six other Ariana Grande videos under her belt. So I had no part in the production of Seven Rings, so let's give credit where it's due. Seven Rings was directed by Hannah Lex Davis, it was produced by Brandon Bonfiglo, Luke Podesta, and Andrew Lirios. It was DP'd by Christopher Probst, ASC. It was edited by Hannah herself as well as Taylor Tracy Walsh. Art designed by John Rishu and tons of other other incredible crew, let's break down seven rings. I can't use footage due to copyright law, so we're gonna use video stills. A lot of video stills. Hannah definitely has a specific look that she prefers and that she directs her DPs and GNEs to use during her videos. I personally call it the contrasty, glammy gloss look, and I really love it. Let's break that down. Contrasty. This look usually incorporates contrasting light intensities and contrasting light colors. She does this really well with how she uses contrasting neon looking lights as practicals. Check out orange and teal in Love Me Harder or Bang Bang. Or check out pink and blue in Seven Rings, Side to Side, Focus, or Into You. Like I've said in the past, contrast looks great because it creates depth. It isn't enough to just shoot in a physically deep or large space to create depth because without contrasting light colors or light intensities, the space is still going to look really flat on film. If there aren't enough surfaces in the room to create the desired amount of depth, let's say in a room with just four flat white walls, you can artificially project more surfaces on that surface, say using a projector that projects shapes or even water that's refracting light on the surface. So glam. Glam is referring to something that's fascinatingly attractive in a mysterious or magical way. Hannah incorporates this by creating sets that are neatly cluttered. This is a paradox that revolves around packing a set with items that complement each other color style vibe wise and that would usually make sense when placed individually alone but that would less likely be placed all together at the same time. Take an old car, a clothesline, a barbecue, a doghouse, and some lawn chairs. Make sure that they're all color coordinated and then double everything. And then take a room with a chandelier, then add another chandelier, and then add a bunch of dope quasars. Quasars are basically LED lights that look like neon tubes. And then add some additional actual neon lights. Add a bunch of glamorously styled dancers, then double everything with a mirror. Last note, a packed room also gives you more services to contrast light intensities and colors off of. This therefore also gives you more depth. Before we move on, let's pay some bills. I feel like a lot of us neglect sound design and sound effects when it comes to our video editing workflow. The Instinct Sound Effects Pack contains tons, and I mean tons, of cinematic, impactful, whooshy, droney, vibey sounds that I use in all my edits. You've gotta check out the link on my website. And lastly, if you wanna know how to get unlimited downloads of hundreds of my favorite effects packs, transition packs, and title packs for only $33 a month, then check out the link below. Guys, please check both of these things out below. It really helps the channel out and enables me to continue creating free content. So we've covered Contrasty, we've covered Glam, now it's time to cover Gloss. When I think of Gloss, I think of shininess on a smooth surface. In my experience, creating that professional glossy look in music videos has a lot to do with these four things. Number one, making sure that your blacks are true black and that your whites are true white. This can be done in the Luma Waveform in Premiere Pro in the Lumetri color scopes. Number two, making sure that your talent in the foreground effectively pops from the background. A couple ways this can be done is actually lighting the main talent brighter than the background or with a different color than the background. Number three, making sure that your main talent is lit slightly from above with a soft light source. Emphasis on soft light source. This will remove hard, ugly shadow edges as well as make the skin just look so much smoother. Number four, using actual makeup as well as digital makeup to further smooth out the skin. Digital makeup can be as simple as tracking a masked Gaussian blur effect on an adjustment layer on the talent's face. More on digital makeup in the link below. So a few other things that I really liked about this video. Number one, shot sticking artificial lens flares. Now I'm sure some of these lens flares were real, but I believe some of them were actually put on artificially in post. The real reason that these artificial flares worked, however, is the editor made sure to make these flares change 
as the camera angle changed and as well as after each cut in the timeline. This mimics how a real flare would work. Amateur editors, myself included, can sometimes make the mistake of just slapping a single lens flare over multiple cuts and multiple camera angles. Basically, as the shot changes, the flare just remains exactly the same. This just instantly reveals the artificial nature of the flare to the viewer. A few other things I really liked, I love the title design and how it matched with the vibe of the rest of the video. I really like the shot that I actually see a lot in Hannah's videos that I like to call backlit and framed, and as you guessed, they're usually backlit and framed by some type of wall or structure or something. In addition to that, she usually incorporates some type of dolly in move, which creates parallax and just a really cool dynamic look. Usually I always emphasize the need to use a parallax effect to emphasize any movement that's being done, which basically just means you need to play something in the foreground because something in the foreground is going to move faster than something in the background. And so your movement again is going to be emphasized even more. This was done in a really cool way in the Seven Rings video where Hannah actually had the DP shoot Ariana's reflection through a mirror and there was actually an extrusion that came out of the mirror. Regarding how this virtual 3D space phenomenon ended up coming into play, the extrusion out of the mirror ended up being that foreground piece that actually emphasized the movement of the camera when it was shooting Ariana's reflection. Other things, I like the speed ramping that they used in post to transition from one shot to another shot. I like the fact that they used a really high shutter speed to create a really crisp, sharp look. And lastly, I really liked how Hannah brought scope to the video by going from a really wide crane shot outside to a small shot where Ariana was actually in a miniature set of a small room where she could literally touch the ceiling and touch the walls and everything. It was crazy. Another trick just for you personally, if you're ever trying to add scope to your music video, if you ever stuck it just like one location and you're shooting inside, get a few drone shots, whether it be stock footage or maybe even shoot them in real life, and it'll just really expand that scope of that video and make it seem a lot bigger and more massive than it actually may have been. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Shout out to Hannah Lex Davis and her entire team for always putting out dope content. Please make sure to like this video or click subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and as always, keep it chill.